Hello dear friends, this is Joel Humphreys and I'm glad to be here and share with you again a word from the Bible, the Word of God. And I want to share with you a word that I believe will help you in understanding the Word. You understand more of what God wants you to do. More of what kind of decision you ought to make that you're facing. And help you to understand that the Lord is with you wherever you are. And He's your strength. I want to speak to you on the fact that hope make, keeps us going. Hope keeps us going. And we need hope. We need hope. We need hope because hope will give us strength and courage to go on and to know that better days are ahead and that victory is over yonder and it's coming soon. And so I'll give you hope. Don't give up. Don't give up. The Bible says in Romans, uh, the 15th chapter of Romans, uh, uh, in verse 13, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope to the power of the Holy Spirit. So you see here we have something very important, and that is that the God is a God of hope. He's a God of hope. That means He is full of hope for you, and He gives hope. Now the God of hope fill you with joy and peace in believing. May you have joy and peace in believing, and trusting the Lord knowing that He's with you, knowing He'll never leave you, knowing that He's there and your strength, your hope, and your power. So the joy and peace, my prayer, will be yours as you hope. And then He says He gives you hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so when you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, the Holy Spirit comes into your life. And the Holy Spirit anoints you and blesses you. The Holy Spirit has anointed me. And I'm blessed of the Holy Spirit. And I feel it and know it in my heart. And I believe that that's the reason that these short messages are transforming lives and bringing people into the kingdom and giving hope, hope to the hopeless. And the Holy Spirit comes in and does that for us. We need hope. We need hope. Always hope. Hope for the best. Hope and keep on hoping. There is coming a great day in, in which we shall see Jesus come back. That's our blessed hope that He's coming back. He's coming back and He's coming back in the glory and power of God. Over in Titus, in the second uh, uh, chapter of Titus, it says this, We are looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We are looking for the great hope and glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He's coming back. He's coming back. And we all, those that are dead in Christ, their bodies will be raised to be with Him forever. And those that have gone on to be with Him, they'll be with Him forever. I like the story told about uh, Winston Churchill's funeral. He had a funeral in St. Paul's Cathedral in London, England, where the kings and and all the royalty were buried, but they buried Winston Churchill there because of his his influence in England during the, especially during World War II against Germany, where he held the people of England together and they they were able to defeat, along with the help of America, to the Nazi Germany. But we need to see that uh, the, the the funeral was very interesting. He planted himself, wrote it all out. He had the man to speak. He had the scripture he wanted them to use. He even had the songs that he wanted them to sing. And then he did this. He said, at the conclusion, I want you to put a bugler up there in the alcove of the cathedral, that great cathedral. And at the close, when everything's over, I want him to blow taps. Now taps in the army means it's all over. It's done. The day is over and it's gone. Taps. But he said, when he gets to over on the other side of the cathedral, I want a bugler to blow Reveille. Reveille is the one that blow when they have to get up. Reveille, get up. It's time to get up. It's time to get up in the morning. And so he was saying by his own conviction, he believed that he was going to be put away, but praise God that he was coming out. And he's going to get up and go back to God and with God forever. And so we have that blessed hope of the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then we have the fact that as we think about the hope of God, we know that all things are working for good to them that love God. That's a great promise. It's in Romans 8:28, and here's what it says.
And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to His purpose. Now we know that, we know this, we don't have to conjecture. We know that all things, not most things, everything, dear Christian, whatever you're facing, it is included under the word all. We know that all things are working together for good to them that love God. This problem you're facing is working for your good. It's going to work out for your good, however dark and bad it may seem right now. It's going to work out for your good because He's promised it. And He said it's according to His purpose and the will of God in your life. And so praise God. Stand on that. Stand on that promise. Stand on that promise and never be afraid. I, I like what... Uh, what that God that that the Lord has made plain with that Romans 8:28. What a what a wonderful wonderful word that is for us, and I thank God for it. Uh, years ago, out in East Texas, I was pastoring a church, and uh, a tornado came through, and it was in Tyler, Texas, and a tornado went through Tyler, and it took off the top of our church building, just demolished it, and uh, I had been. Two weeks prior to the storm, I had been to the president of the loan company where we had our loan and told him I'd like to, we'd like to borrow enough money to brick, or, or put brick around the frame. We had a frame building. We wanted to dress it up. And he said, well, no, I'd take too much money. You just don't have that kind of money in your account. You can't, we can't do it. Three days, three days after, three days after the man, after the man told me that, Three days afterwards, the, that uh, he, he called me back and he said to me, I want you to know something. I want you to know that we are carrying the insurance on your building and we are able to give you whatever you need to build back because you've got full coverage. Praise the Lord. We built back a beautiful brick building, air conditioned, ready to go, that we could never have done apart from the storm. From the storm. But I was standing in my uh, study and my water was up to my ankles and I was looking around at my books, everything practically destroyed. And Bill Schamberger, pastor of a church there in Tyler, was standing at the door and I didn't know he was there. He said, Preacher, Romans 8:28 is still in the book. <laughs> Praise God. And that worked out for the best. For the best. Some preacher told me later, he said, you know, I heard you that you and the folks out there were praying uh, that the Lord would open a door for a building program. said, he blew that door open, didn't he? <laughs> Amen. God will sometimes blow the door open, but it'll be for your good and for his glory. Hallelujah. So we need to see the importance of this fact that we have hope. We have hope. Never give up hope. Hope is built on Jesus Christ. Hope is built on Christ our Lord. Hope is built on Him. Jesus said, Come unto me, come unto me, and I will make you free. Oh, come unto me, I'll forgive your sins. He's saying that to somebody right now. Look to me, I'll forgive your sins, and you'll be saved forever. And if you'll be looking to me and find a way, you'll find peace, and you'll find God's will for your life. Look to Jesus, look to Jesus, be saved. Be saved forever by looking to Him. By looking to Him, and you'll find hope. Hope. Oh, Jesus is the answer. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, no, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Oh, build your life from this day forward upon the rock, Christ Jesus, the solid rock. God bless you and give you hope unto the end. Amen.